And what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all already know who it is, man. In today's video, I dug up some old soul woofer that y'all haven't seen in a while, and I'm gonna explain why. But I need everybody to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell, man, to help join and grow their family. But before we get into that content, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video. Let's get it. You ever woke up one morning and your check engine light was on and you don't know what in the world wrong with your car? Well, this product right here is probably like one of the best OBD2 scanners that I ever used, man. And I'm gonna plug y'all in right here, man. So let me show y'all today's sponsor, man. Here's some of the main features of the Excel OBD2 scanner read engine or emission related fault codes erase fault codes turn off engine light warning lights etc display i am readiness status reads live data screen views freeze frame data this o2 sensor data onboard diagnostic monitoring eval system test retrieves vehicle information vin number etc Print diagnostic reports via PC connection. Record and playback trouble codes. Built-in OBD2 fault library. Battery test and etc. So, if you're in the market looking for a nice OBD2 scanner for a reasonable price, use discount code across the screen for 30% off. Click the link below and go straight and get the product before they're sold out guys i literally use this scanner on everything and i'm actually proud to use it when i pull it out man it's very professional very well built take my word for it guys if you're into cars and you like doing your own work or checking on your own vehicle when you check engine light like, come on your family your friends etc go check out excel and once again thank excel for sponsoring today's video but with that being said let's get back into the live footage let's get it. okay so like i said i pulled out some soil woofers that y'all haven't seen in a while which are my scar svr 8s guys oh um, i never told y'all but the reason why i don't y'all don't see any videos on them no more and the reason why i actually took the system out of the truck is because all four of them I blow, guys. That's right, I blowed them. Silly me, can't lie, man. I had them on the Tarrant Smart 3K, 3K at the time, guys, and I was pushing the hell out of them, really getting them way more than what they needed. They only 400 watts RMS, 800 watt max, and I had them on the 3K. If y'all ever had the Smart 3K, y'all know they are powerhouses, man. So I can't lie, I was pushing them very, very, very hard. And, I mean, they still play, but I'm going to let y'all hear what's going on. I'm going to flip them up, up here on my own wrist, and I'm going to let y'all hear what's going on when I push them in. So, if you knew the car audio, like I said, and you don't know whether your speakers are burning up or you done burnt the core, you, your core unraveling or your speaker bottoming out or whatever the K may be, I'm about to let you guys see. And hear what it sound like when you have a coil rub and when your soil is actually bottoming out. Okay, guys. So, it's going to pain me to do this, but I got to do it to see what's going on. Like I said, they already blown. I mean, I can easily get another one, but I am about to break this soil wolf all the way down, cut this around, cut the spider, cut the tinsel lead, and we're going to pull out the coil and see what, why we have a coil rub or see can we find what's going on with it and if i find any significant damage on the subwoofer i will show all the guys that's new to car audio what it look like when you have a coil rub or if your coil core start to discolor now keep in mind y'all see this copper coil in there some subwoofer come with a copper coil that's coated in black heat protected for the coil man extra protection for your coil for heat is high temp on uh, glue that's what exactly what it is 
Some soil wolf will come with black high temperature glue that's on the core, so some soils have a black core. But if your core is copper, like y'all see right here, and you see any type of discoloration or black spots on it, nine times out of ten, you're burning your coil up. So I'm about to break this up with for all the way down. We're gonna cut this around, cut the spider, cut the tinsel leaves, and we're gonna pull the arm. The assembly out and we're gonna examine it and see what's going on with this sub woofer. Like I said, it pained me to do it because I love car audio, but for content purposes and trying to teach guys that's new to car audio what to look for, what to listen for, and basically what to smell for. I'm gonna go and sacrifice this one sub woofer and let's get it, man. Okay guys, so as y'all can see, everything on the inside looks real good. Actually a very well built sub woofer for the price guys, I cannot lie. But let's get down to the nitty gritty. Alright, so I'm going to examine the core. It's a little dusty. Okay, y'all see right here? I don't know the phone picked it up. We do have a couple little spots on it. We do have a couple spots on it, guys. So, like I said, for the purpose of the video, guys, y'all see that the coil is copper. If you burning your coil up and your coil have a copper coil and you don't have a high temperature black paint on it, your coil will actually start turning black, of course, because it's burning up. And to be honest with you, this one right here actually looks this one actually looks pretty good man i can't lie let me see it does have a little small spot scratch right here and a scratch right there on my finger i see a couple of small spots on it but the majority of it is basically dirt and dust probably from coming on moving air in that box and dust getting into it so yeah that's what i see so far and if y'all can see up in here y'all see how the tinsel leaves start to burn on 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 the top part of that spider i think this is the side of the coil that wasn't playing so i don't think we clipped this up with the death i think we just basically overpowered it with this with that 3k guys because the other tinsel lead don't look like that but these right here look like they were starting to burn, guys. Y'all can see that? So, one side of the all, uh, one side of the core, well, one side of the tinsel leaves, might I say, was starting to burn up, which explains why when I hooked the soil woofer back up a couple months ago, if I hook, just say this side up, the soil woofer wouldn't play. But if I hook this side up, it'll play. And 
I think the reason why they blow it because, like I said, three out of four of them was doing the same thing. So what I did was I wired one side of each core of each sub woofer up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't use both sides of the core. Like I say, I was just trying shit. You know, one side of my core died on me, so I was like, forget it. I just play each sub woofer on one side. So that's what I did, and I guess in turn, it ended up burning up the tensile leads or uh, whatever you want to, you know. I'm not a professional guy, but I'm just showing y'all what I observe and what I think is really wrong with these sub woofers. Um, not bagging on scars, not the sub woofer fault at all. It's totally my fault. Um, user error. Like I say, I'd be the first to admit to y'all if I mess something up. So that's totally user error. Hell, if I pull the other one out, because the other one doing the same thing. Can y'all hear this? Can y'all hear that? These two, I know for sure, were making the same sound. And when they were hooked up to the amp, you could hear the core bottoming out. They were slapping. And like I said, one side of the tensile lead was playing. If I was to hook the amp up to whatever side was burnt up right here, guys, I don't know exactly what side it was. But just say if I hooked this side up, it wouldn't play. So if I take the uh, wires from the amp and put it right here, it'll play. And if I connect both sides of them up, the salt woofer didn't play at all. I guess it was throwing off the own load or whatever. I don't know exactly. Y'all can get in the comment section and let me know. Because like I always tell y'all, I'm not a pro in this. I'm still learning. You know, I can install the system. I, I can make a system look clean. I can make a system sound good. But I'm studying and learning the ins and outs of the sub woofers, even though it's not too complicated at all, you know. It's not complicated at all, but I'm actually, you know, actually learning more about sub woofers. So I'm sharing that with y'all. That's why I end up getting the um, in oscilloscope so I can try to adjust my amps way better than what I was by ear. If that makes sense to y'all. That's what made me go and get it, because I'm tired of wasting money. On sub woofers and just playing them and feel like it's not enough, turning the amp up a little bit more, and you know, basically killing the sub woofers. These sub woofers can't handle, they can't handle a Tarrant Smart 3K. <laughs> they can. But you got to be conservative on the game and realize that these sub woofers are not SPL sub woofers or not. These are sound quality. So you're not going to get that same response out of these. That you'll get from a SPL subwoofer. These are sound quality. And I was trying to get SPL out of them. Granted, they sounded good as shit in the truck. Do not get me wrong. But being a bass head, being a bass addict like I am, I was trying to get more out of them. And they was already reaching their potential where they was. And I was still trying to get more. So I ended up messing the subwoofers up. So if y'all have been wondering whatever happened to the Scar SVR 8, I blow them. Can't lie. Don't know them to play. They do play, but it ain't nothing you want in your vehicle. Put it like that. So in my mind, they'll blow. I'm not about to run them. I'm not going to sell them or nothing like that. I just keep them. Um, I find a way to repurpose them. If y'all know anywhere on, on the internet where I can get some uh, recon kits or Anything like that for these sub woofers, I'd be glad to check that link out, order some, and we can make a video reconing all four of them. Because, like I say, only one side of each sub woofer plan, they'll do a four, so I'll wire it down to a half on. They'll, they'll wire it to a half on. That's exactly what I had them wired down to, a half on. That's why I made that video saying I almost blew them with them being wired down to a half on. They'll wire it to a half on. So, that's what happened to the SVR guy. But the good thing is, I got another setup in the process. And y'all will see that video. I think everything supposed to come in tomorrow. And the box should be finished either tonight or tomorrow or the day after. I got another setup on the way for the truck. We're not doing four eights. Uh, we're only doing two this time. 
but we're gonna have the proper size box for them my seat lift is on the way all that good stuff so we're gonna have a good quality system in the truck i'm not trying to blow the windshield light not trying to rattle the doors off it just a good sound quality system and um i'm gonna get some door parts i think the on oh, custom door parts they have the eight inch and the six and a half door part for the front door so we're gonna do that we're gonna have one eight and one six and a half in each door and then we're gonna put like one six and a half or two six and a halves in the back or something like that it's gonna be a real sound quality setup this time not looking for spl because this is my everyday driver i don't want to shake a rattle nothing to lose it in the truck very nice truck to build 2011 so i'm not trying to just beat it up like that so that's what happened to the speaker guy it pained me to cut that open can't lie but like i said i was curious to see what was going on with them the core does have a couple spots on it where you can see the core raw scratch so i was getting core rub and i pretty much blow them man this your boy base at it Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Stay tuned for the video, the upcoming videos, because they're going to be lit. I got another wiring kit coming for the truck. We're going to be installing that. Once that come in, um, we're going to install the wire kit. We're going to hook the amp up. And then when my other subwoofer come in, we're going to break the other American base out. Two American base VSL 8s. I think they're like 600 watts RMS, so they're like 1,200 watts. And I'm gonna put them on the old amp my wife had, the Pioneer. And then we're gonna add the box to it and the seat lift. And it should be a real good sound quality system. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Cause it's gonna be lit. Once again, big shout out to SL for sponsoring this video, for sending me the package, for contacting me on, on Instagram. If you have a company, if you have any type of product you would like me to review or sponsor a video with or whatever man all my information in the link below you can hit me up on instagram facebook or whatever the case may be and we can work something out for sure this your boy base at it checking out with another one yeah. I pray to y'all he be alright I'm bringing that pressure Gravity wrong on